Guys, stop the presses. Uh, GoPro might have been thrown off their game with this boy. Look at the glory that he is. Insta360 1R with the one inch sensor. Might be time to say goodbye to GoPro. Let's get into it. going on everybody uh so this little thing right here is an insta 361 x it is uh by far the most easiest to use and my favorite 360 camera up until now now months ago insta 360 sent me their insta 361 r which is this really cool idea so what this basically is is a modular camera you guys can see the two 360 cameras here but it's party trick battery disattaches, the two pieces disattach, and now you plug in this other modification and it's essentially a GoPro. Now I've had this for a while, but you know, my wife and I were moving, so I've just been sitting around with it and I haven't been able to do anything. And then these people come out with this new thing that I just got in the mail that I want to show you guys off in today's video. So as if having a modular camera that's like a GoPro but can also be a 360 camera, so it's like two cameras in one. On top of that, they also just came out with this. Insta360 ONE R, this is their one inch edition. Uh, it's basically, it takes the little GoPro lens like this has and it it's bigger. So the cool thing about this new guy is it basically has, you know, it's taking advantage of this modular system to where you have your battery, right? This is the brain. This has got the little screen on the back. You can do all your settings. This is the sensor and this is the camera. So you can just make different modules for different purposes, which is the whole like awesome part of this thing. So you take this little GoPro sensor. Okay, cool. We'll make a bigger one. And now you have higher quality. I think you can do like 5.7K instead of the 4K. I'm gonna get it unboxed and we're gonna check it out. I'm excited about this thing. GoPro's been pissing me off for a while now, so I am I am chomping at the bit for an action camera company to come in and uh, throw them off their game. All right, so this is all the old stuff, right? Let's uh, let's get these put back together. By the way, waterproof, even with all the modularity and stuff. Also got this little guy right here, this little boosted battery base, which is just a thicker battery, which that's awesome. This is all the pieces. This is that boosted battery base. Regular lens, 360 lens. Oh, look at that, bro. My God. That is an action cam. Oh, sweet. So I've got two of them now. Hell yeah. Y'all, look at... You, you guys won't be able to see in that camera. Look at the size of this lens. Here's comparatively, right? the regular lens versus this big boy holy crap that's insane i love this i'm not going to take the protector off just yet wait what the hell oh this is like a protector for the oh that's cool so you could i wonder if you can f like put different filters on this i literally just said i wasn't going to do that but i did so that's pretty cool. You guys can see that the uh, it's also thicker in the back than the regular, you know, GoPro style lens. Interesting. Can I? Are they both powered? <laughs> I think mine's probably dead right now, but oh, it works. Okay. So while we're here, before we get all crazy with it, before we go into test mode, let's see what else we got in the box. All right, so inside the box, we have this brain module, the actual one inch sensor, the orangey battery. We have the case, which is gonna allow us to have those little uh, action camera attachments right there. This looks like it's got a little tripod mount at the bottom that can hook into there. And this, we have a charging cable. Cool, so I guess you're gonna charge your battery while it's connected. I guess you'd have to, right? Because this has nowhere else to charge it. Okay, cool. That's interesting. So I'm curious what is going to happen 
if you wanted multiple batteries? Would you have to like get some weird module and since it's not like a, a little piece that you put in? Another cool thing about these is, let's say for whatever reason I wanted to vlog with this, check it. So now I have a camera that I can actually like look at, I can see that I'm framing myself correctly and I can actually see myself. You could, you could see what's going on and you've got this bigger sensor, which is really cool. All right guys, uh, so at this point, I guess I need to go test this thing out and uh, see what I think about it. You know, obviously I can compare it to a GoPro with this guy, but like, look at all these things. Like, look at all these little modules. If you have all three of these, you have a 360 camera here, you have a GoPro here, and then you have this like mini little upgraded GoPro thing here. This is pretty cool. I like this a lot. I mean, honestly, as long as the camera quality out of this thing looks good, we might be switching action cameras, which I would be totally here for. While we're here, let's check out this battery base that they sent out as well. Because I know when I go do my uh, first rides on motorcycles right now, my GoPro battery has like 0.1% left when I get done. And I'm always like, man, if, if I got stuck in traffic or something, no, they did not, dude. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's slick. Okay, fair enough, Insta360. That is fancy. I am a fan of that. Okay, so if you're traveling with this, right? Like, let's just say, let's put the big boy battery on it. Let's say, okay, I'm traveling somewhere and I want to take my, you know, my big, oh, I like the black too. Look at this so much easier to travel with then you mount it up you just pull these down this is something the gopro 8 introduced and i absolutely love it so that's really cool to have it on that extended battery all right uh let's get to testing also side note uh with the insta 360 app typically with gopro i cannot stand using the app but i don't know what insta 360 has done with this camera but the app works really well and it connects super fast. It's gonna be fun times, and uh, let's go find out what it looks like. So I've got the, can you guys see me? Okay, I've got a big battery pack. I've got the upgraded Leica lens. I'm gonna try it uh, on like a little clamp mount in the front of the MT-10. All right, so I've got the GoPro on this little mount, but it's, these are the only two clamp mounts I have. This one seems pretty stable, but we've got flow state stabilization on this thing, so I'm interested to see with this little shake that it's gonna have. Hopefully the flow state will kinda like knock all that out, but the GoPro's got a lot of... This thing looks so legit though, so I'm excited to see how this works. So uh, you guys let me know how it looks.
side. So the big boy lens worked out pretty cool. Here's the really awesome thing. I've literally in my book bag got all the little components. I'm gonna put the 360 mod on it and put it in the middle to see if we can get a cool shot of my attack and me at the same time. All right, so hopefully this 360 mod looks pretty cool from this perspective. Hopefully it will. All right, guys. So we're here on the 360 mod for the Insta 361R. Uh, if you're wondering how I got my audio, I've got it run a uh, mic in here. I've got a recorder in my chest. That's how we're doing the audio right now. Uh, but we're testing out the 360 mod because I think as a motorcyclist, these 360 cameras are so clutch because if you guys ride, you know, like there's tons of shit happening every second that you're riding. The cool part about this shot is that you guys are seeing my shot right now, right? But if something happens and I want to cut to that, boom. I just rotate the camera. It's as easy as that. Did I leave anything? No. Okay. So uh, we're going to go on a little cruise, see how the 360 mod does. It's shaking a little bit. I'm not sure how clear the video is going to be, but Insta360 is supposed to have flow state stabilization, which means it makes things not shake all over the place. So, well, I guess this is a test. So initially my thought process is, okay, if I put the 360 camera right there, I've got a shot of me, right? You guys can see me and I'm in neutral and you can see how terrible of a rider I am. Um, but, you know, let's just say if you're a young man doing some hooligan stuff, and you want one camera and can record both you and your speedometer, right? You want to be like, oh, look how fast I can go on my motorcycle. I'm so fast because I can turn the throttle. If you're one of those guys, no, no, no shade. I was there. I used to be one of you. Uh, but if you want to brag at how fast your uh, 2020 Ducati Street Fighter V4 is, you get one camera, you can get yourself. You can get your speed. You can get a cop going past you who's about to turn around and uh, and pick you up because you're going triple digits. That's one of the cool things about 360 cameras that I absolutely love. And uh, the better they get, the better tools we have to record the amazement that is getting to ride a motorcycle. So uh, this is more of a test. You guys let me know what the camera looks like. It's shaking about quite a bit right now. So we'll have to see how much stabilization works. Oh no, we got a red light in front of us and that truck is going to run the f out of that light. See, that's a perfect opportunity. If you were a GoPro, you'd be looking back at me. I'd have no proof that that white like glass truck was just like YOLO status straight through that light. Wow, look at that thing. Oh wait, you can. See, I wouldn't have even known that thing was coming up. And because I have an Insta360 camera, I was able to pan with that thing as it went past me. It's the new way of things, man. It's the new way of things.
All right, guys, so I've been playing around with the Insta361R, as you guys saw all the clips. Uh, by the way, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the clips. Did you, which mod did you like the most? What did you think about it compared to the GoPro? Personally, after doing all these clips, and I don't know what these clips are gonna look like for you guys once YouTube does all the compression and shit like that, but I think this has more potential than a GoPro. My only issue right now is that I have to have an ND filter to make the shutter speed correctly. Whenever this thing gets an ND filter put out, I don't know what company, I'm sure some aftermarket company is gonna make ND filters, but whenever that happens, I'm going to grab it as fast as possible so I can test it. So I'm gonna keep using this months down the road and we'll kind of have a long-term checkup on how this is using. If I ever get to the point where I'm using this as my main camera on my uh, first ride helmet, I will let you guys know. We'll do a whole little helmet update video, but um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna ask about the audio because we didn't play the audio during the on-camera segments. The audio for this thing is just like a GoPro. It's absolutely trash. I record my audio externally for my videos because that's the highest quality able to be done, so audio doesn't really matter for me, but audio I'm pretty sure is comparable to the GoPro. When I've done the side-by-side -side clips, the audio sounds the same. So uh, audio is kind of a moot point between this and the GoPro, but yeah, I have been super happy with this. And like I said, I'm only waiting for ND filters before I'm switching over because 5.3K versus four, I'm gonna take the 5.3. Guys, I'm Chase on Two Wheels. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it helped you out, make sure to hit that like button. And uh, Insta360 seems to be always doing sales on this stuff. So I'll have a link down below for you guys to see if there's a sale on this because uh, this guy with the boosted battery, it's the way to go. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Later. Outro crew, what's your favorite mod? 360 wide angle or one inch sensor? This boy. This one's my favorite. This all blacked out with the big battery. That's my guy right there. All right, outro crew, uh, thank you guys so much for uh, getting to the end of the video. Love you a long time, and I will see you on the next one. Later.